Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Schrader. Today we will be talking to Dr. Bush regarding the precautions Memorial is taking to keep patients safe for their procedural and surgical needs. So Dr. Bush, who would be a good patient to be approved for surgery at Memorial? Essentially, the patient should be at low risk of having been exposed to or contracted the coronavirus recently. Um, so we do screen all of our patients that are coming in with certain questionnaires on making sure they haven't had a fever over 100.4 in the last two weeks, cough, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, a loss of sense of smell, and we also ask for things like international travel within the last two weeks. So what are the current visitor policies at Memorial? While we do recognize it is important to have social support while you come in for surgery, um, at the same time we need to try to balance that with decreasing the potential risk of exposure to other patients in the hospital and the staff that is here. So in order to meet that, the compromise right now is that surgical patients are allowed to bring one uh, visitor with them who's over the age of 18. They will need to stay within the facility for the entire time of the procedure with exceptions being if they need to either uh, visit the restroom or the cafeteria. And what words of reassurance can you offer those who may be delaying their care due to COVID-19? While we do recognize this is a unique and unusual time, I would want to reassure our patients that we are following the national guidelines and protocols are in place to make this as safe of an experience as possible. So can you explain the importance of not delaying care? Well, there are some instances that delaying care could lead to worsened outcomes, progression of disease, more difficult recovery for patients. And we certainly don't want that to happen for our patients, especially given the fact that we feel that there is an environment in place and protocols in place that are safe uh, for us to be able to address those patients' surgical needs. 